everyone, it's Laura here. My class and I took a bus tour of Nice and I thought it would be a great way to show you a lot of the city in a little bit of time. I'll be talking about some of the things we heard from the tour as well as from a presentation by Professor Guillaume, who is a history professor from the University of Nice. If there are three things you need to know about Nice, the first one is that it is both a Greek and Roman city. In fact, when the Greeks conquered the area, they gave it a new name, Nikaia, after Nike, the goddess of victory. That transformed into the name we have today. We're right now at the end of the Bay of Angels, about a five mile crescent of the famous Black Rock beaches of Nice. Nice became officially a part of France in 1860, and so it's had some influences, particularly Italian and Baroque, that other parts of France have not had. Nice is actually the only Baroque city in all of France, which explains the architecture and style of buildings that you see here. This is probably one of the best views of Nice, and it's no wonder why the slogan for the city is Nice the Beautiful. Culturally, there's a lot going on here. There's the Acropolis, what you just saw, where major events are held. The National Theater, what you see here, uh, where we've already gone a couple of times to see performances. And the Opera, where there are five euro tickets for students. This is Place Messena, with bleachers set up for Carnival, which takes place for three weeks during the months of February and March. Nice is a completely different city then. And finally, the Promenade des Anglais, so named because of the British tourists who started visiting during the 19th century. They came because of the climate and the lack of taxes. To pass the time, they wanted something to do, and so they walked along the beach. Eventually, they got this boulevard constructed, which is now named after them. Believe it or not, Nice used to be a poor city, with mainly fishermen and not much else. But due to the tourism industry that started a few centuries ago and which continues today, Nice is, well, far from poor. There's actually even a new technology industry that is developing here. Some call Nice the Silicon Valley of France, and others consider it to be the Silicon Valley of Europe. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing Nice, my home for this semester. There's of course a lot more to see and to know, but if anything, these are the three pieces of information our professor wanted us to remember. Nice used to be a poor city, it's the only Baroque city in France, and it has both Greek and Roman origins. Thanks for watching, and I definitely recommend visiting and seeing much more of Nice the Beautiful.